why did you choose the show then, James? Why did I choose it? Um, well, the process that we have at the Hippodrome is that we have um, a, well, a long list of directors that we try to sort of rotate through um, and give everybody a fair chance. And it, it was my turn uh, to do a play again. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was approached with a script mm -hmm. um, along the same kind of lines as this. Uh, but unfortunately, the licence wasn't available. So, with about two weeks to go to the audition dates, uh, I was reading and reading and reading loads of scripts, trying to find one that worked, um, and they were, they were just not available, so obviously picking the right kind of shows. Uh, and then this one, uh, I read it, the minute I read it, I, I just knew. It made me chuckle, just reading it in my head, at bed, uh, in bed. Um, I loved it, loved it, absolutely loved it. So that was it, uh, and then I'm kind of learning it as much as the actors are learning it, it's very much a new script. Yeah. It's, not, it's not one that I know and love and, and have wanted to do for a long time. However, I am getting to know and love it. Mm. So, that's yeah, great. So, Night Must Fall, running from the 1st to the 4th of October. James, can you tell us more about the show? The show, right. Um, well, as you'll have seen from all the publicity, uh, and the image, it's been described as a camp yet haunting night's entertainment. Um, it's a great catty little script, it's originally from the 1930s, um, and it's, it's not a murder mystery thriller, um, it's a taut psychological thriller, punctuated with loads of laughs, it's a really good comedy. Um, but it's haunting. There's a point in the show where it just changes um, and it's no longer funny anymore. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be a laugh a minute kind of a show, um, but uh, a bit of a white knuckle ride as well. That's, that's the plan. Um, camp, the camp, it's a camp scenographic treatment of a classic drama. Uh, that's, that's my vision. That's, that's what I've got so Wonderful. far. We'll see. We've still got a month <laughs> to go. Wonderful, thank you. So how is, the, how is the build going on at the moment? I can see you've got some set there up behind you. A little bit, yes. Okay. Um, I, 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 what I will tell you is this is the front window. Um, and it's, the, it's about a quarter of what's been built so far. Okay. Um, so it's going to be quite a big set then, isn't it? That's only a quarter of what's been That's built. a quarter of what it is. Uh, and all I can tell you is the front door is at the back of the stage. Uh, okay. And we enter into the space and there's, there's furniture and things to arrive yet. Right. So you don't want to give too much away. So no, it. no. <laughs> uh, I the old age of 26 and went back and, and, and got my degree in theatre. Um, thanks to this place, really. I haven't been here for the last 20 years. Uh, I decided it was time to go and do something. So I got myself a degree in design. Yeah. Um, and then the recession hit, uh, and I moved back to Tottenham and I've been involved here as well as doing a few local and regional things. Yeah. Um, I just worked in London last week, which was great. Mm -hmm. But back here, um, and I've been asked to direct it, but also I've, I've been given free reign to design it as I like. Uh, so I tried to put all my uni skills into this, uh, and the set is not what it asks for in the script. Mm. The script calls for a frilly 1930s bungalow okay. with antimacassars, wax fruit, stuffed birds, pictures on the walls, and all of this is really kind of superfluous. When you actually strip down the script and imagine it on a black space, it works. The mm. script actually works, the dialogue works. And so I'm stripping it right back and using the bare minimum. Okay. Um, having said that, this is a fabulous stage. Um, fabulous flies uh, and other opportunities. So I am being creative yeah. with what is effectively a black stage. Mm -hmm. um, don't want to give too much away because you've got to come and see it and buy a ticket, <laughs> see what it is. Um, and a good theatre director friend of mine uh, who recently directed one of the productions at the Hippodrome said to me after, after the show, she said, you can do away with your set, you can do away with your fancy lighting, you can stand there and perform in black t-shirts, mm -hmm. and if you've got a good cast, it works. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a good cast, uh, and I think it's just going to, they're going to knock it out of the park, it's going to be brilliant.
Good stuff. Really excited. Good stuff. directors have you worked with and have you taken any inspiration from any other directors? Oh well everyone I've worked with pretty much. Um, I have to doff my cap to Mr Andrew Rawlinson, one of my first uh, directors in the youth theatre. Uh, and I was 17 playing Scrooge, a 70 year old man. Mm -hmm. uh, and Andrew Rawlinson was a brilliant teacher and helped me do that. Um, it was fantastic, I'll always remember that role. Mm -hmm. um, other directors Oh gosh, um, loads. I don't. I don't want to do a who's who here because I'm bound to miss uh, somebody. Um, yeah, no. Everybody that I've ever worked with here, um, I've been in some fantastic roles. I have been cast in roles that I've not even auditioned for, which shows the strength of a director to see mm. something in me that I've not even considered mm -hmm. going for myself. Good. So. A camp yet haunting psychological thriller, it says on your poster yes. there behind you. Ham. Why is it camp? Right, well this comes about through a conversation with um, one of our publicity guys, a guy who designed this fabulous poster, mm. um, and he asked me to write a little praise a few words to mm. describe the play. Uh, and within that, I described it as a camp yet haunting uh, night's entertainment, I think I'd describe it as, <laughs> uh, and then suddenly it became the tagline on the poster, so it's kind of, uh, it's given me a brief mm. of what this play needs to, to do and to deliver. Um, it's camp because it just is. Um, everybody hates each other in this play. Mm -hmm. It's really bitchy. Um, the guy who wrote it, Emily Williams, is probably too small for you to see there, but um, he was one of those homosexuals in the 1930s when it was all forbidden um, and I didn't know this until actually I'd actually decided to do the play but it really comes through in the script you can mm. really sense his character and it's really bitchy yeah. uh, and there's a lot of backhand comments <laughs> has been going so far? Right, yeah that's a good question uh, a bit hit and miss really because it's yeah. summer Everybody's been on holiday. Mm -hmm. What we have done is we've allocated an extra couple of weeks for that rehearsal period. People are just coming back off holidays now, so I'm starting to get full cast rehearsals mm -hmm. at last. Yeah. Um, but it's good. We met last night, um, and it's, we, we're really punching our way through it. We've yep. got a little bit to set now uh, at the end of Act 2, and we've pretty much got a month left to polish it, get yeah. it ready. Jazz hands and all. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't decided whether we're having a tap dance at the finale or not. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> Didn't quite see the show, does it? Maybe on the Saturday now. Yeah. Go out with a bang. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much, James. Have you got any final comments about the show? Um, right, I just want to say come and see it. It's on uh, October the 1st to the 4th. That's Wednesday to Saturday. There's no matinee. They're all evening performances. The doors open at 7 o'clock. Performance starts at 7.30. You can buy tickets online at the Ticket Source if you search for Teo Tippodrome or Tomlinden Hippodrome. Uh, look at the Facebook page, Tomlinden Hippodrome. We're on Twitter, at Todd Hip, that's with one P. Uh, and we've also got a YouTube channel. You can buy tickets also at the Trust Information Centre in the Town Centre. Um, I think that's it, or through any cast member or any Hippodrome member. I'm sure they'll be able to get some tickets. Go and buy them now.